Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to do a book review I have not done in many, many months. Um, but today we're going to talk about Introduction to Graph Theory. Um, the book is by Richard Trudeau. This book was written in like 1975, published in 1976. Um, again, printed in like 2023 because it's a reprint. Uh, these books are super thin. It is an introductory book. It has absolutely nothing to do with quantitative finance, and that is what makes it an amazing book. So I give this a four out of five stars. Um, Five stars I should be giving out less frequently. They're harder to get, more robustness to the book review. Um, but this book is great. It is a great introduction. Um, I really like the author's approach to it. So if you read through the book itself, uh, the introduction talks about this book is for non-math people. Uh, it is supposed to be a fun example of pure mathematics. Um, it really hit home, I think, going through, so when you look at math, the way math is taught in the U.S., uh, we typically do things in order, right, that makes sense, um, but everything seems to try to be applied. Like, let me give you a real-world example, and then they try to show you these examples. Anyways, and it takes a lot of the fun and the beauty out of mathematics here, so graph theory in itself is supposed to be a pure math. Now, if you Google graph theory in quantitative finance, you can find some applications to it. Um, but if you go through this book, um, I don't know if you guys can see, it's quite simple. There are vertices and edges. So, you know, dots and lines here. Um, it takes it into kind of the framework of like fun, pure mathematics of like just solving interesting problems. Again, trying to figure out like number of combinations. I think this book is good too for proofs. So if you've never taken a course in proofs, um, this book does point out some of the issues with trying to derive a proof and proofs that you know were unproven for a long time. And even though things seem to conceptually make sense, um, it is hard to actually derive a proof, a proper proof. So I think this is a really good book if you're just interested in something quick to read. Um, again, the book is going to be like 200 pages, give or take. There's some fun exercises in the book. Um, it changes the way you think. So this is why I like mathematics. I think it's a fun field to study. Um, it's logic, it's putting pieces together, but it kind of challenges the thought process. Just because something seems obvious or it seems like the correct answer does not mean it's the correct answer. Uh, this book though, I've never studied graph theory, so it's a like baby junior introductory book. Um, it does a great job just kind of explaining the basics and some of the interesting problems within the field, as well as a few of the unsolved problems. Um, but I give it a four stars because it is well-written, uh, the examples are crystal clear. There are a ton of charts and pictures throughout the book. Um, so maybe I'll throw some screenshots here on the screen. Um, but it's easy. It's simple. It's very unique. And as you get towards the back of the book, you really start to get into more detailed charts and graphs. The book becomes harder to kind of grasp because you really need to stop and think about what's being talked about. Uh, but overall, four out of five stars. It's a really fun read. It expands your thinking a little bit, something new, something different. Again, not a quantitative finance book, but something kind of different for you guys to read if you're interested in just learning a little bit more about mathematics. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.